Ferrari cuts the top off its newest 488. Callaway gets their hands on the new Corvette Z06 and they go ham. And GFC diesel powers up their canyon. Plus, Nissan's next Leaf could spawn another version we are all too familiar with lately. I think you could probably guess. And we have your FLD question of the day from a fan AK. Oh, great. As usual. Hey, everyone out there, I'm Derek D. And call Fastlane Daily a library because you're checking it out. The next generation Nissan LEAF is nearing the horizon and there's news of more body styles soon after the redesigned EV goes on sale in 2017. Thank goodness because the LEAF has never been anything pretty to look at. In my opinion anyway, I mean like, come on. The next generation LEAF will feature an extended range of 249 miles, but more interesting, well, well whether you want to choose to call it interesting or not is up to you, is the fact that Nissan is planning a crossover version with about the same range. Yes, of course. You'll get caught up in the crossover. Crossover. That was beautiful. Yeah. Before both the redesigned five-door hatchbacks and the crossover debut, an updated 2016 LEAF will go on sale with a range of 125 miles. Yes, the Nissan LEAF, the true driver's car. Yep, it's opposite day, AK, okay, right? <laughs> yeah. You look, GM. you look good today, Derek D. Oh, thanks. All right. Oh, it's opposite day. Okay, that's, that's one shot for you. Uh, GM has revealed there will be a diesel version of the GMC Canyon for the 2016 year. The engine will be a 2.8 liter Duramax diesel with 181 horsepower and 369 pound feet of torque. Yeah, all that torque gives it a tow rating of 7,700 pounds which is 10% more than the most powerful gas-powered canyon. You like that, right, Vin? <laughs> I know it. Oh, and for those of you wondering if the Chevy Colorado will get the same engine option, the answer is yes. They're the same truck, basically. So yes, the Colorado is getting a diesel option as well. The only transmission will be a six-speed automatic. GM said the canyon, and Colorado, was designed with a diesel powertrain in mind right from the beginning. And while we don't have fuel economy numbers, expect it to match up or beat the current champ. In this corner, the reigning champion of the truck MPG conference with 21 city and 21 miles knocked out per gallon, the Rockin' Ram 1500 Eco Diesel. And in this corner, his opponent, the new kid on the block with a record of zero city and zero highway miles knocked out per gallon, because we don't know yet, the Mean Gene GMC Canyon. That's right. Ooh. They're going to they're gonna fight each other in the ring. Wow. Yeah, it's going to be like uh, Pacquiao and Mayweather. It's going to be exciting and then not exciting to watch. Hey, either truck you get, whether it's the two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive Canyons or Colorado, the diesel option will cost an additional 3730 bucks. What do you think of that, Vin? Okay, yeah, we get it. Everyone knows you live your life. Quarter mile of the time, get it. Don't look at me like that. Callaway has just taken the wraps off their most powerful Corvette ever, based on the new C7 Z06, of course. The 6.2 liter supercharged, it's supercharged. Supercharged. Yeah. The supercharged V8 now cranks out a whopping 757 horsepower and 777 pound feet of what, Eric? Torque. Yeah, man, that's crazy. That's 107 more horses and 127 more foot pounds of twist than the standard Z06. Oh, and it's angry. It's angry. It's the good angry. They added performance, says uh, 60 in just 2.8 seconds, and the quarter mile time is 10.5 seconds. Kind of like, <laughs> oh, yep, just like that. Whoa. The package includes an optimized air intake, a triple element intercooler, and a Callaway Gen 3 supercharger. For the 16,995 price tag entry, you also get a supercharger hood, a carbon fiber engine cover, embroidered floor mats, and anodized aluminum door sill plates. Anodized. Anodized, yeah. You fancy, huh? You fancy. Anodized. Uh, some sort of treatment to the aluminum. Uh, Ferrari has revealed its convertible 488, and it's Italian, so of course, it must be called a Spider. 
the 488 or 48, whatever, 88, whatever you want to call it, Spider, will be introduced at the Frankfurt Motor Show in September as the most powerful mid-rear engine sports car with a retractable hardtop ever from Ferrari. It's also the most aerodynamic Spider ever, thanks to a construction from 11 different types of aluminum and other metals. The 488 Spider has the same rigidity of the 488 GTB Coupe. Pretty bad assness, if you ask me. Yep. You know? The folding hardtop goes up or down in 14 seconds. Performance matches the coupe in terms of 3.9 liter twin turbo V8 with 666 horsepower, and 0 to 60 happens in just one, two, three seconds. There it is. Now, that's my kind of convertible, or I mean, spider. But man, is that, is that car a looker? That, that blue, though, right, Erica? Yeah. Almost like a really cool, stylish-looking popsicle. Is it weird I want to lick that? Yes. It just, it just looks it. Maybe it's because it's so hot out and this looks super like cool and to the touch and in general. I'll lick that car. But either way, it's so nice. Hey, now it's time for your FLD question of the day. This one comes from FLD fan Terry Koch, or it could be pronounced uh, like Coke. Right, I can? Maybe. So either way. So uh, take it away, Terry. What's up, FLD crew? It's Terry from Bolton, Ontario, Canada, coming to you uh, this week on location from Cayo Coco, Cuba, as you can see in the background. Beautiful weather we're having this week, of course. Oh, of course indeed. Cayo Coco, Cuba. Ah, oh, this guy. Nice. I'm jealous. Although we are having uh, beautiful weather here too. It's just hotter than hot. Super hot out. Terry then goes on to say because of the embargo and relations between U.S. and Cuba, there were only certain cars that made it to Cuba. So, for instance, if you go down to Cuba right now, you'll see very old cars from the 1950s and stuff still driving around. Like these cars parked right here, uh, this old Chevy. Here we have a gentleman working on an old Pontiac. It's just cool to see. It's almost like it's like paused in time, mm. although around it is still, you know, technology has advanced. Uh, they kept the cars in good shape and running because, well, they had to. They weren't getting any more cars or parts from the U.S., so they had to make it work out of necessity, basically. So there's a little, little history lesson in case you didn't know. Anyway, what's your question, Terry? Uh, let's say if uh, the U.S. Uh, and Cuba relations tend to get a little more friendly and they lift the embargo and you guys had to come down here and hang out for a while, what would be your vehicle of choice um, to bomb around with? Uh, would it be some flashy and exotic? Would it be something a little more utilitarian? Ah, all right. A little windy there, Terry. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, so basically your question was, what car would you like to cruise around Cuba in? Now, let me just say that Cuba and U.S. relations are getting a lot better. Very recently, we have opened up diplomatic relations, so this question probably isn't that far off. So it's cool that you asked it while you were actually in Cuba. So before we answer, what, uh, what about you, Terry? What's your choice? I'm going to go ahead and say maybe like a JK, like a Jeep JK. Pop the doors off, pop the roof off. Continue to work on that suntan, because as Canadians, we all know we need a suntan most of the time. So uh, putting it out there, crew, Derek D, what do you guys think? Ah, very nice. A Jeep JK. Fully opened up. I can dig that. I'll get down with it. Maybe do some off-roading as well. You know, straight up ride on the beach there with your Jeep. Uh, and you're all about the sun, huh, man? I could tell. Well, I don't blame you. I mean, your winters are pretty rough up there in Canada, so uh, I agree. But uh, for me, um, a Jeep is a great choice, but I don't want to just copy you. So to keep in the theme of old cars down there in Cuba, maybe I'd go with like an old school Woody. They're kind of synonymous with the beach. You know, throw your surfboard on top or in the back, go cruising around. Those are nice, old school. Uh, if I were to go modern, eh, hey, you know, give me that Ferrari 488 Spider we just talked about. Sure, why not? Or you know what? A Porsche 911 Targa. Something you can take the roof off. You gotta be able to take the roof. Gotta be convertible down there. You know what I mean? But see me, I'm not a soft top convertible guy, so I gotta go hard top. Hey, give me my Solstice, I'll take that down. Yeah. My, that I don't have anymore, but you get what I mean. AK, what about you? What would I think you think a Miata drop top? Oh, the, the new one, the newest yeah. one. I'll give you the newest one, AK. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. because this is in a world where any car could right. go down there. All right, Erica, you think about this for a second? I wasn't prepared, <laughs> so I'm just going to say a Jeep. A Jeep. Well, you know what? Jeep that's, is a good one. Yeah. That, that's a good call. Yeah, that's, that's it's a, a good call. Good. That's, you know, uh, you wouldn't say, oh, you wouldn't say like a Hummer or something, a Jeep. Something to take the top off. 
yeah, that's what you go with. So there you go, Terry. Uh, anything else? Love the show as always. I watch it every day. All the best. Happy sunshine. Nice. All the best, and hey, happy sunshine to you too, man. That Terry, I tell you, he's got like a good, uh, like a radio voice. You know, pretty good. And I like that it was, you know, it was landscape mode, beautiful background, it's Cuba, it's tropical. We dig it. So thank you for that. Anyway, let us know what you guys think using hashtag FLDQ of the D. You can send your own video in just like Terry did, but maybe, you know, make it like 30 seconds or so to... Uh, Tips at FastLaneDaily.com. There you go. So thank you for that. And uh, that's going to do it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. Thank you for watching, everybody. And, uh, yeah, happy, happy sunshine. Sunshine in here. You go swimming after work, Derek D? I'm going to jump it right in that ocean, AK. Ferrari cuts the top off its newest 488. It's slate. What was that? Yeah. Slate. Oh. Oh. This intro take one. And GMC diesel powers up. Diesel powers up. What? Yay! GMC Cut. diesel power. And that's what will do it for fast. Oh, we're living in the fast lane, baby.